All right, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Bridge Builders of Diversity. I'm Sherry and this is Roberta. And today's topic yeah. is going to be the uh, continuation of when Roberta came back from her trip. She was gonna talk about how she made out uh, with the 504 plan in, in her travels to a wedding out in, was it Seattle, California, Oregon? Oregon, Oregon one of those. Across the country. 3,500 uh, miles away. <laughs> right. Just to give you a little backstory, I just recently had surgery to replace my ankle joint. All went well, um, but I'm limited mobility for eight weeks. And I was invited to go to a very special wedding on the other side of the country and um, really wanted to go. And when my doctor said that it was okay, I was like, I'm going to need accommodations. And we've talked a lot about Section 504 and how it really helps everybody. When we make the world more accessible for our disabled friends, we all benefit, yes. and myself included. Mm -hmm. So what happened is um, I reserved my airline ticket, and I checked the box that said, I need assistance and found out that the airline that I was traveling, I'll give them a, a plug, Alaska Airlines, offers many, many services to people who are traveling with a mobility issue. And what it really came down to was um, I needed a wheelchair and someone to escort me through the airport. I needed help getting out to the plane. I did take one of those prop planes. So I had to go out on the tarmac and um, load the plane that way. I needed help up the stairs. I needed help through TSA um, and I received it. All I did was check a box when reserving my ticket saying that I needed mobility help throughout my flight. And everyone was very, very solicitous. The only time that I really, really struggled was inside the plane. Um, I was on a very long flight and I needed the bathroom. I couldn't manage my crutches in the aisle. So I had to just, and I'm lucky that I was able to do this because I'd been given clearance to put my foot down with 25% pressure. Um, and I just sort of limped along using the seats. Now, if I had thought of it, which I didn't, I, um, I could have asked a steward or a flight attendant to help me navigate. They would have helped me walk and they would have gotten my crutches for me um, out of the overhead oh, because crutches have to be stored in the overhead. And I know other people who have, who have spoken about traveling in a wheelchair, they have to check their wheelchair. So they need assistance. They need a, a higher level of assistance, like getting to their seat, moving from their seat to the restroom and, and back. And that assistance is given um, what, very well in, in my experience. I only had one person assisting me and I don't know if it was our first day or our last day, um, but just kind of pushed my wheelchair to where I needed to be and left. Um, didn't ask me if my if my family was with me or if I needed help with my bag, which everyone else here to four had done. Um, I, so like I said, right. it could have been our first day, it could have been our last day too. Right. So, <laughs> But that kind of behavior with somebody who had developmental delay may not be appropriate. Probably would have been a disaster if, right. if this were a person requiring a higher level of assistance right. or traveling alone. Right. Say somebody has a cognitive impairment. There was even, there, but there was a box to check for that. So Sherry, I feel like I would have gotten a higher level of assistance had I checked that box saying, you know, I need, Okay. Yeah, because I've never had any problems traveling with my son through the airports, um, you know, even last minute when I didn't know there were boxes to check and I just go up to the counter and tell them and, you know, he would be able to get on, uh, you know, get on the plane first uh, when they're loading and stuff like that. Um, so I've never had any problems. It was a different airline. It was years ago, so they could have changed, but uh, right. I believe it was Southwest um but we we had no problems um either um with my son so absolutely yeah it was a it was a positive experience all around mm -hmm. i mean okay e even traveling in the parks and stuff like that when he was younger yep. um having handicap accessibility or not having to wait in line um 
you know, we had to have a letter from the pediatrician that he had disabilities, um, but we didn't have any problems. Now, that was the odd thing that I discovered. I had a card for TSA um, saying that I had, you know, an implant that would show up on the screen. Um, no one ever asked me for it. Mm -hmm. And I also have a, had a letter from my physician saying, you know, what type of surgery I'd had and that I would require assistance and to please extend every courtesy. Nobody ever asked for it. They took my word for it. They, um, I did have to answer a lot of questions because people would say, can you stand in the screener or do we, do you want us to put a seat in the, um, the x-ray machine? Okay. Um, they, they had to take my, my boot and x-ray it. And they were like, they asked me if I would be okay without it for the time that it took for it to go through the x-ray machine. So they were, everyone was very, very solicitous and very helpful. Okay. Um, I hope, and I hope that's everyone's experience. Right. Yeah. I, I haven't had any issues traveling with Nathan um, or even in amusement parks or anything like that. I've never had any problems. So don't forget one, I'm Sherry, I'm a mom of a child with Down syndrome, or Roberta is a special educator. But please uh, like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell notification. Please comment below if you'd like. We talk, discuss any we issues. We'd love to hear from you. We know people are watching these videos. And we'd love to hear what, what you think. Mm -hmm. what, what would you like to hear about? Do you want to hear more travel stories? Do you want to find out more about? Um, you want sexual? news articles? You know, yeah. let us know. We, we anything to do with disabilities, um, we'll cover. Oh. Bridges of understanding through education Absolutely. and commonality, common connections. Mm -hmm. uh, like again, I'm not a person living with a disability, but I did have a mobility issue mm -hmm. for you know the last eight. eight and weeks. I live every day with somebody with disabilities. It's a lot yes. of fun. Very he interesting. Is <laughs> he is a lot of fun. I've learned more from him than anybody else. Yeah, check our blooper reel. You'll see how much fun he can be. Yes. <laughs> I locked the office door so he can't come in today. <laughs> oh, no bloopers today. Oh, no bloopers yeah. today. <laughs> He's playing anyway. All right, guys, we appreciate you. you. We appreciate Please share us out into the universe. Um, we appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Be well.